Good afternoon. It's Wednesday, um, and I'm home already. So it's about 6:01, and rough day today. Very rough. Uh, basically, I was kind of frustrated with my boss today. Uh, he gave me a, a call to work on the Wi-Fi system for McDonald's way down by where Gaines lives. And uh, I told him when they took that call that that call is probably going to take a good half a day if not more. Well, they didn't believe me. He went and took another call, another server call, for uh, the same time. So, in his infinite wisdom, uh, he decides to schedule it for early in the morning, about 7.30. So, needless to say, my day started about 6.45 this morning. And, uh... uh My thinking, I, I don't know, you're down a technician right now. We've only got two technicians working. The boss should know that he's going to have to go out on calls. And he can't just keep taking calls and expect us two to do them all. It just can't happen. Anyways, I got to go to um, this... Concord Career Institute here. It's a, like a medical training site. Um, they do a bunch of different training there. I mean, book work and uh, hands-on lab. So it's pretty cool there. But uh, what I had to do there was um, set up a whole new rack cabinet with a large blade server a smaller mini server, a UPS rack mounted, and a power distribution unit, which is basically just a uh, uh, surge strip, and a KVM s switch. Um, that's a network KVM switch. Uh, it, that wasn't too difficult. It took about two and a half hours, but... Um, I would say that rack was about as wide as this here, this dresser. A um, little bit taller, probably up to about here. And it was sitting on a pallet. Well, it's like solid particle board plus casters plus metal. It was heavy. I had to lift it off that pallet by myself. I, I did it no problem, but still. The uh, instructions told me to mount the equipment in a certain configuration front and back. The PDU and the KVM went on the back side. The two servers and the UPS went on the front side. Not a problem again. But what made it difficult was the rack positions. Uh, normally you just screw a screw in and tighten the equipment up into the rack. This one you had to install the little clip adapters to be able to get the screws in. So that was a challenge. Then uh, according to the instructions I was supposed to configure the um, PDU, the KBM, and the UPS for a static IP address and gateway and subnet. Well, how do you do that? I called up tech support and they didn't know. That's the funny part. They should know. That's Concord IT should have known. But uh yeah, I uh worked as much as I could, then I hit a point where I had to go so I could get to this other call. And I called up the boss and I was like, hey, I gotta get going. Um, what do you wanna do? And he basically expected me to go get this other job done and then come back and uh, 
finish up the Concord call. I was like, well, all right, I guess I don't need to do anything tonight. I was supposed to, um, um, exchange the vehicle with Billy again. Um, and then we were going to go out to eat at a Mandarin Nail House. But that got changed when I found out about the schedule and I didn't know what time I was going to get off. But thankfully I got off um, early anyways. But uh, we ended up rescheduling for um, Friday. So uh, I just... The boss has no consideration for other people, other people's plans, whatever. Uh, I didn't mind doing the calls, but my second call was the beast of the calls. I had to go to McDonald's, um, down near where Gaines lives, and uh, it was to swap out their DSL modem and their dial backup modem. <coughs> I did that and clean up the wiring. I also cleaned up the wiring. Um, I installed a new surface mount jack for the DSL line. Uh, tested the phone line, there was good dial tone on it. Plugged up the equipment, came right up, no problem. Uh, that equipment there basic runs their um, uh, cashless environment and their wireless of course. Uh, the cashless being like gift cards, uh, debit cards, and credit cards. Now, if that system's down, you know that's a good chunk of how people pay, so they would be down. But uh, thankfully, they weren't down. Um, I had to clean up that, and then I called AT&T to have them test it, and... Um, they they said there was line noise on the uh, the other dial backup, so I had to troubleshoot that, and that took some time. And whenever AT and T tells you, just go ahead and do this, 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 and this, and then call us back, you always dread hearing call us back because getting a hold of AT and T is like crazy. I. I spent, I wasn't too bad today, I've spent longer, but I was on hold about 30, 35 minutes waiting for somebody to pick up at AT&T so I could test it again after I had done what they requested. And of course I had to take pictures and uh, uh, show them what I had done so they could approve it and release me, but what was it? I was there from about 12.15 to five. Much longer than expected, of course. Just like I told them, told my boss that that job was going to take longer. Oh well. I just need to calm down. Yeah, I'm home now. I'm going to get something to eat, get out of the work clothes, and relax. So, probably won't talk to you again tonight, so I'll say talk to you tomorrow.